Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Today we've got an interesting game. We've got a demo called Dross. Now the devs have kind of uh, sent me a key for the latest build that they've done with, I believe it is 12 levels. So we're going to see how many we can do today and uh, kind of see what it's about. Separation. Okay, okay. So, from uh, the little description that we have on, I believe it's Steam, you essentially are this little creature here, and you have to take you, you take control of a uh, a shell, so to speak, and then that's kind of how you navigate around the world. And it, it looks, I just love the art style of it. It really piqued my interest. It's kind of like a steampunk story, they said. And, uh... We're gonna see what it's like. Okay, move and jump. Yep, we have that one. Oh. What kind of room is this? Interesting. So I don't know whether it looks similar to Tunic in the sense of you don't know kind of what they're saying until you kind of, until you kind of uh, I can't think what the word is, but until you kind of discover what what the uh, the, uh, the language is. Escape, Little Dross. Escape? You won't last long outside a shell. Escape through the pipe to the catchment far below. Hurry. We don't have long. Find the pipe. Oh, this thing. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's so it's it it seems very cozy. Like it's one of those kind of games that falls under the under the category of cozy cozy games. Which I'm starting to kind of enjoy more and more. Sometimes exploring overgrown bushes and piles of rubble may lead to concealed rewards. Okay, it's a different character. Time to get that bounty, and then... Fortune and glory. Alchemy in the tower. The alchemist's flute. A generous bounty has been offered for the for whomever receives retrieves the flute of the alchemist. It is said to induce mind-controlling effects on those that hear it. Some believe it is responsible for all the recent disappearances. Now in my twilight years, I focused on a work that, to distract from my loneliness, wondering if the, the, my latest business idea had any worth. There's actually so much. There's actually a lot to do with this. That's actually really cool. Okay. Slash and sprint. So we hold an A to sprint. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's... Boarded up. I'm not very good at describing games. I just can kind of tell when I enjoy it, if that makes sense. If only this armor wasn't heavy. I wish I could jump it. There's got to be another way. You mean like that? Oh, hello. Lizette. Well, who do you, who do we have here? With that fancy armor, I'd say you're from here for that bounty. That's right. Name's Captain. While you're out of luck, they boarded up the mountain doors weeks back. I heard the only way is through the sewer, but you wouldn't get what you wouldn't want to get your shiny armor dirty. So what's your name? I told you mine. Lizette's my name, and don't you forget it. I'll be seeing you around. After I've collected the alchemist's flute. I love the icons. They're actually so like they're so cool. Quarantine, wear a mask. Sounds dangerously familiar, to be honest with you. The fisherman. Oh, I love him. Hello, stranger. What's that young Gotnik like you doing here? My name's Captain. I'm a bounty hunter. Good to meet you, Captain. <laughs> You're a brownie muncher? Bounty hunter. I need to shout. I heard you. They met quite a few brownie munchers all heading to that tower. That's where I'm going. Be careful. There's been some strange noises coming from the sewer in town. Maybe that's where everyone's gone. It's so quiet around here now. I need to catch my dinner. Farewell, Crapton. <laughs> yeah. 
Fisherman's Law. We've got a picture of a four-eyed cod. Oh, a dead fish. It, it gives off uh, Fez vibes in the sense of its kind of isometric style. But instead of it being, you have to rotate kind of as and when you need it, it is obviously just free camera. This vending machine has seen better days. Small house. Found you for whoever collects the flute of the alchemist. So it seems like the alchemist is, at the minute, the main protagonist. Navi, Raleigh, and I went to explore the base of the tower. We left in the morning and couldn't have been there more than ten minutes. When we returned, the house almost five hours had passed. It alters time as well as the land. Oh, okay. Definitely something a bit more dangerous at play. Are you? Hey, cool mask. I was a monk, okay. You mean my 12,000 year old Order of the Alchemist mask? Like a poke my eye out. I have sworn an oath to never remove it. Can I help you, young metal man? You go into the tower, and there's a bounty I need to collect. We sealed the door up to the tower to stop people leaving. What do you mean? They were all drawn to the tower, none have returned. It's more a machine than a tower, by the way, it churns day and night. A convincing young alchemist is believed to be responsible. The guy from the poster? He's no match for my blade. <laughs> oh, you only bought a blade? You're going to need more than that, I fear. But if you're determined to meet your fate, then forget about the mountain path behind me. There's a secret path through the sewer. I have installed a high-tech lock on the door. Take this combination if you feel brave enough to enter. Ooh. Interesting. So I wonder if there's a, a, a bit more of a backstory to the kind of... I don't want to call them squiggles, but the kind of... Relax and put your feet up. Say hello to Big Tony and receive a mani, a free mani pedi. So, like, kind of... That white uh, poster on the wall has some sort of squiggle on it. I don't know whether that is kind of their language or if that's just some sort of, like, art. I'm, I'm, so, wait, 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 I'm sorry. Say that again. I missed that. I'm not going to be able to do it, am I? I, I saw naked bungee jump and I was about, like... Hmm? Welcome to Nalma. Whiskey. Voted the cleanest town in the north. Interesting. Let's go to the sewer. So I believe the door below me was where I needed to go. So we'll explore. Yeah, that one. That door there. Hermitage. This is a weird contraption. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, it looks weird. The, mod the moderator primer, a history. Interesting. Chicken. Cockadoodle do. Don't know why I'm surprised that he was going to say something else. To be honest, like if it just started talking, I would have been a bit like, okay. <laughs> All right, head to the sewer. Ooh, sewers. Oh, whoa, strange creature. Yeah, so I, th I, bl well, I th I'm, it, there must be, this must be their language or something. That's the second, the second ugliest rat I've ever seen. Okay, I think he's angry. <laughs> oh, Ow. The fisherman was right. Oh, look at that one. Oh, it's like following me. That's a weird language. So yeah, so it is their language. So it must, I, I wonder if like Tunic, we kind of discover more and more of it as we go on. Which would be cool if we do. The base of the tower. No way back now. Guess we gotta power through, boys. I am loving this so far. It's very, it, it's like it's, it's a nice. It's probably gonna get a bit more intense from there, but 
for the time being. It is very, very cute. Oh. Ah. Oh my god, I'm getting my ass handed to me. Oh no. Oh, is he gonna have to drop down? Oh, is that the alchemist? Must be, right? We're not going somewhere. Oh! Oh! Okay, that I, that must have been the alchemist then. He chopped he chopped my arm off, bro. What the? Very intruded to the security zones. Daddy, daddy. You mean she escaped? The boss is gonna go nuts. Can't go far though. Without a shell. Not much time. Get back here, little dross. <laughs> Gotta find a shell. And how convenient. She finds the captain. This. Uh oh. Had a bad day? Get out of me! Wait, wait. I can fix you up. What? I am Dross. I can keep you alive. Get you moving again. Ugh. My head. You are now my new shell. Am I alive? Only just. I need to get you fixed up. Oh, okay. So those little, yeah, grab some primer so I can heal you. So those little things that I picked up before. Right, okay. So I'm guessing like five of those is one kind of like level, I guess. But wait, where are my arms? That's a very good question. Press RB to detach. Oh, okay. Cool. Open the gate for the captain. <laughs> okay. So, I'm guessing that... Oh no. Oh no, I'm trapped. Wait, how did he get back there? Interesting, okay. So it's kind of, I don't wanna say it's like Banjo and Kazooie, but like that kind of, the, the dual character is always a fun little kind of like game kind of to have. Cause you can do so much with it. You got the captain's sword. Beautiful. My arm, I missed you. <laughs> Okay, so we can now start breaking stuff again. So can I? I want to see what's over here. Because what's that? Okay, so I can't actually even get there yet, so there's no point. But that must be something that we, we probably could be able to go back and get. Now this looks familiar. I think it's a dross port. I have a vague memory of moving things with it. Shame it's clamped. Actually, that sword of yours might help. Oh, look at the... What have we uh, opened up? Little dross. Alchemist, did you even sleep at all? Maureen? I'm so close, Livian. I won't stop now, no matter the cost. So I'm guessing the more we kind of go through the story, the more we're going to unlock in terms of lore. Mini Dross. The balls of goo are most commonly encountered enemy in the Alchemist's tower. They were fairly weak, but lunge with surprising speed. Like any Dross, when a mini Dross shell is removed, it, fle it flees to safety. Okay, it reminds me of... Um, oh, I can't remember what it's called. In Treasure Planet, there's a little pink character. Is it Glorb? Is it Gloob? Or something like that. I can't think of what he's called. But it reminds me of him. Dross ports are biomechanical gadgets that allow Dross to jump inside and manipulate the parts of their environment. 
The first draft ports were engineered by the alchemist as a gesture of goodwill. Okay. So I'm guessing from the sounds of it, the alchemist essentially was meant to be good and then kind of just went a bit dark and a bit twisted. Ah, okay, yeah. Right, okay. That's how we do it. That's how we're going to kind of manipulate the world. So there's definitely a level of uh, kind of ex exploration and whatnot within the game. Oh, a mod rat piece. Interesting. Okay. What's? I want to know what that. I'm 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 getting that as well. I want to know what this is. I can't jump. So how do I? There we go. Oh, one of ten. Some diamonds, I guess, or rubies. Yeah. So how about the weather? <laughs> okay, let's go to the other way. Hey, I bought that one. Oh, okay. I like that. That's a cool little, cool little thing. What's the vending machine doing in here? Hey, look. This thing has primer in it. Primer flows all through the tower. It's what draws us uses energy to keep us going. Grab a can of primer. I already feel bad enough. Can't hurt to try it. Oof, that was a bit loud. You want some alchemy lore. Primer. Primer is a potent alchemy, alchemical juice that flows through the entire substructure of the tower. It is a source of sub substance for alchemy, but beings such as Dross and allows them to manifest extraordinary abilities. Okay. So, gonna have to do this. We'll detach. Oh, that's a big boy. And then... Yes. Interesting. So I wonder if the recall will just automatically send you back, regardless of kind of the distance. So you, even if you're stuck, you can kind of recall, which I guess could kind of have its pros and cons. Oh, how do I get that one? Easy. Easy. Any game of platforming. Just give it to me. Too good. So if I just do this now. Yeah, okay. So you can, it will just send you back. Basically, you don't have to kind of navigate back to where you were going. Which is definitely a bonus. Because there are some times where it's just in a game. You just, it's a ball ache trying to do that. So they won't, yeah, so they won't attack me um, when I'm in the form of the Dross, because I'm essentially just one of them. But then as soon as I get the human involved, oh no, it flies. What's that gate for? Hmm. The sign says it's an elevator. I guess I guess we go through them. If that leads me to the alchemist and his flute, then yes. I kind of thought we might be looking to leave this place soon. We're not leaving now. Come on, I just got here. I have my arm and my sword. There's no way, no need for you to worry. Plus, I've got a bounty to collect. I guess we go through, but don't do anything stupid. Do you even know me? <laughs> just don't leave me. We've got a good deal here. I mean, they have just met, so... We shall see. The Tower. Catchment. And if an effluent and industrial waste end up at the bottom of the tower. The catchment's many pipes so, and conduits buried deep inside the side of the mountain. Though it's considered the lowest level, there are rumours of even dark, deeper and dark areas below. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Uh, ooh, no, okay, we don't actually want this guy. We want Little Dross, because we can't jump with him. Oh, he's very eager. <laughs> ah! 
Whoops. <laughs> First death. It's fine. Everyone gets one. We should get out of here. We should, but I kind of also want to collect everything. Because I feel like I'm definitely missing some things. Well, probably not, but like, you know, you just kind of want to make sure. Yeah, so there's 52 and then there's 10 of these in this area. Can I just jump down here? I can. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to do a quick recce, basically. Because I don't believe... I don't believe we thoroughly checked back in this area because we were kind of learning the basics. Well, I don't think there is anything here. So. Okay, let's crack back on with this. Something that I enjoy as well about kind of like the two character game play, if you will, is that they, they can like have little conversations with themselves. So instead of like an idle pose or like an idle moment in games, if you're constantly moving and there's not much going on, they'll just have a little conversation with themselves. And it just, it just helps with the immersion a bit more as well. The mode rat. I want to know what the mode rat does. If that builds into something, or if that's just like a collectible. Stealthy sewers. Ooh, okay. God, this game is actually gorgeous. I can't, I can't specifically tell what this art style is, but it reminds me of Bastion and those kind of style games, and I love those games. Superintendent, the little dross has eluded us, sir. I gave you specific orders to stop her at all costs. We're tracking her whereabouts, and it looks as though she's escaped through the gate. She's bonded with an old rusty shell and has attained a weapon. Find her. She can't be far through the sewer. This is your last chance. Yes, sir. Okay. The stealthy sewers. Let's get it. Oh, okay. Well, we're not going back that way. Dross law. Shells. Dross are creatures that must bond with a shell to survive. Some dross survive from bigger and bigger, sh bigger and better shells than their peers. Interesting. Guess that's not going to work. There must be another way in. DLR. Sewer dross unite. All to do a spin attack. Ooh, okay. Can I use that on these? No. Interesting. That's a cool little, uh, cool little, uh, attack to be fair. Okay. Up and over. How do we open that? How do we open that? I can detect the wires in the ground. I'll figure out where this opens from. Okay. That's pretty cool. There's something under here. Can I, I, I'm guessing I can mess that up then. Ah. Wait, so how do I... Uh, can I do this, maybe? Because I don't think I can go up, can I, from... I can go up here. The ladders. My only weakness. <laughs> I 
I know that if I take off that, then that'll start. Ah! God damn it. Am I just being dumb here? Is that what's happening? There we go. I don't know if that's how you meant to do it, but I somehow managed to... Can't let them see me. Ah, this is the stealthy part of the game. Oh, okay, so they have a... I guess line of sight, so to speak. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just kind of <laughs> just kind of moving forward. Oh, there's a person. No, I'm not. I, I don't go this far, surely. That doesn't make sense to go this far. There we go. <gasps> What was that? <laughs> oh my god. What the hell was that? <laughs> it was like a giant snake. It's the sewer snake, okay. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Like PSA, massively avoid whatever that is. Nice. So now we can actually go kick ass with this. <laughs> what the hell was that? That, was, that was just that took me by surprise. I also wonder if, obviously, if you don't kill them, they kind of like. They scurry back to their pipes or whatever. If I don't kill them, will they just come back later on? Ah! Because I wonder what, unless they do just kind of retreat and they don't necessarily come back. Oh, you can just see it. I kind of want to try and aggro it. Oh, I can't even damage it. Okay. <laughs> Never mind then. Just going to use some of that. I wonder then if it's kind of uh, trying to find a balance between keeping primer for whatever you need it for, or if it is just solely the, kind of the, the health system. Oh, it's her. Well, if it isn't my fellow bounty hunter, although you look a little worse for wear, you haven't seen us. I mean, me in action yet, yeah, Lizette. I'm curious, did you steal your armor? I operate undercover mostly. I got my armor from my last bounty. And, hello lady, I'm little Dross. Shh, go away, slimeball. Oh, you have a Dross attached to you. I'm keeping, I'm keeping Captain as my shell, for now anyways. Quit it. We are working together for a bit. You both should try and cross that toxic water. That's easy, little Bye bye. Bye bye, Lizette. See you. Bye. <laughs> Just in case you know, we didn't say bye enough. A bit more of Lizette's lore. Our family have been bounty hunters for five generations. Our crest is a grizzly bear. Big, strong, and ferocious. Don't let our family down. Well, okay then. No way I'm swimming in that. Why don't we jump over? Hey, I can barely walk in this armor, let alone jump. Leave this gap to me, Tin Man. I mean, that's all well and good, but. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> That's new. Maybe we shouldn't kill the innocent dross. It's hard when they're right in front of me. So I can... Right, okay. Ooh. I love this attention. This kind of like awareness meter. See, I don't know if I need him now or not. 
There's no other way to kind of go, so I feel like I do. Oh, he just shot me. <laughs> Trust me, let me walk across. So we don't go that way. That's fine, because I get shot. <laughs> so... Where are we looking? I really love, I love that little, that's actually such a good, that's such a different and unique, like, alert system. I've not seen one like that before. Um, okay, what do I do here? So that's done that one, right? Is there a way? There's no other ways. Hmm. I don't want to. I don't want to act dumb, but like. There are certain times where I, I genuinely believe I overthink certain games. Because I need to get up there, don't I, really, as well? And I won't be able to go into the, uh... Into the goop. that do I? Oh I do. Oh I love it. This is so sick. Oh see got him. Get out played son. Um, gotcha, punk. Oh, I'm telling you, right? There are sometimes I'm just, I'm just too good. It's, I'm just. I don't know. I, I just amaze myself sometimes. I really do. I do. I do like the kind of like platforming elements of this game, though. They are quite unique and quite different. Like I would never have thought to kind of apply not a hidden bridge, but like that kind of side to it all is definitely cool. Corrupted Dross. Polyp Dross. Some Dross's projectiles... Some Dross's projectiles can be blocked by a sturdy guard. Uh, Polypy Dross, Polyp Drosses have developed defensive adaptations with their shells and fire inky projectiles at intruders. So they just are a pain in my ass, basically, is what you're saying. Wait, so how do I get... I want to know how I get to that other place. Can I sneak through? I can. Yoink. Don't mind if I do. Hey! Try and do my spinning attack. Let me do it. Okay. Pump some health back into there. It does seem like that we have kind of a a the the primer I believe it's called is kind of just developed for health. There is no kind of limit to all. Oh, a secret way. Damn right. Hey. 
Um, I don't know if this is the way that I'm meant to be going. It just feels right to do this way. Whoops. Okay. I can't even get it. God damn it. Ah, see? Hidden bridges. Ooh. I am genuine at this point, just. Ah, so this is where I'm gonna end up, I believe. Oh. Okay. You know, you don't seem like the bounty hunting type. Why is that? When I bound you with your shell, I can sense your memories. Hey, don't go raiding my mind without permission. I'll try not to, but there's not a lot up there anymore. <laughs> Ouch. Rude. In a bustling city called Colsack. So we're lucky he was a chimney sweeper then, maybe. I wonder if he was a chimney sweeper and then he kind of... Um, from the looks of that picture, then he falls into it. And that's how we kind of gets into the... Uh, world of bounty hunting, so to speak. How the hell do I get to there? Hey, I'm just warming up. <laughs> oh, I love them. Oh, he overestimates it. I didn't find the conduit though, which I think was over where we were kind of parkouring before. But I don't know how I'd get there. That's the kind of, I think that's the kind of task that you have to figure out if you want the kind of other stuff. But it didn't seem like there was too obvious of ways to kind of unlock bridges or anything to do with that. But maybe if we, we maybe if we revisit it. We'll have a thorough check on things. Enki's errand. Wait, did I just destroy that? Don't drink the water. Uh, yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. Oh, yoink. Thank you. Take those. Some... Where is everybody? The Alchemist's Order. Oh, secret pathway. Where's this lead? Ah, <laughs> nice try, punk. That genuinely scared me the first time it came out. Like, I, I, I didn't know what I was expecting to happen. But I don't think I was expecting a, a, a sewer snake to come out and attack me. Enki. Hello, strangers. I'm Enki, proprietor of the wonderful vending machines in the tower. I'm Captain, and this is Slimeball. She's a dross. A little dross. I'm sure you already tasted my primer soda. We did. It really picked us up, thanks. You two just might be able to help me. I was told by a good friend that there are some important blueprints somewhere close by. If you find them, bring them to me. I will let you try my new soda flavour. I'm thirsty. How about you give us a sip now and we'll consider helping you. <laughs> I do love a good negotiation. Very well. Little Dross, with my new soda, you gain the ability to expand your mind. 
I'm calling the soda Primer Gaze. Let the physical world fall away. I think you will both enjoy the taste as well. Expand your mind. Oh, okay. Oh, they're over there. Right. This is sick. So essentially you can just see the entire map, like the entire thing. That's cool. If it's not the famous captain and the little dross. I told you, Slimeball, people have heard of me. I hear you are collecting the mode rats, captain. I assure you your little friend is trusting party. We have an understanding until I can get rid of her. Friends are few and far between in this tower. Be careful who you listen to. I'm right here. I can hear you. Of course. It's just that dross can be not always be trusted. They are easily controlled by the alchemist. No one, one never knows when they may, may turn against you. This one's on our side. She wants to help me get to the alchemist. Well, that's good to hear. Remember to return the modras to us. I'll expect a reward. Gold always looked good on me. Of course, Captain. You can name your price when we receive all the modras. Grant us strength to protect the sacred pieces. We, the Brotherhood of the Modrat, Modrata Primer and Slave, oh, enslave our will to you, so that one day you will grant us the immunity from the ravages of time. Only one fish has eluded me. Always one step behind him. The four-eyed cod. <laughs> okay, so I can ah, oh, so I can do this at any time then, right? Does he have a bridge there? No. But that has something there, though. See, like, this is where I'm kind of like, how would I get there if I can't kind of parkour or do anything like that that's where you kind of you start to have to do a bit more kind of puzzling and whatnot all right so can i go maybe up here so that's the way we leave I do, I do love I do love this game. Like I can't even lie. It's something about ah, indie developers are just they're just so good. Like the the the, the creativity and kind of the the skill that they can just put into a game and make it so unique is just crazy to me. Ah, the blueprints. Like never in a million years would I have thought to kind of of a game kind of in this style like ah uh, i don't i can never talk justice about indie games that credit all goes to uh the channel jordan with a no very very good friend of mine very very close friend he does it so well he could probably if i like he's i think he's also looking at this game and i'm sure that like he will explain it so much better than i will Hey, where'd that pushy old man go? He was here a minute ago and then the next. Maybe you annoyed him and he couldn't take it any longer. Well then, you'll find the elderly let's find the elderly senior citizen. That's better manners. Let's find his cart. The lock combination. Go through the underpass. Ah, so that's how we unlock that. The pipe room. Even the, like, the enemy design is, like, really unique. I think what's drawing me to this game as well is this, the art style and the kind of, like, layout of the game. Is it's very kind of, even though it is, even though, like, this room, for example, it is just 
essentially just floating in space. You don't feel like it's just a room in a world, kind of like just plonked into a game engine. It's so kind of full. Like this level, for example, like obviously it is just kind of a set area within a game engine and in a game world and you explore this kind of section alone. But when you're in this view, it's so um, populated that it, it's enough where it's like, it's a good amount. And it, it, it really does help you kind of stay immersed in the game. How would I get here? Because I can't... Oh my god, that's how it works. Okay. Right. So basically any... So as the captain, you can't see the bridges. But as the drosh, you can. And then they are there. You found a red spoon. The spoon laws. This spoon is rarer than it appears. It was the spoon of choice for the King Frederick the Juvenile. Okay. It's our little secret. Right. Okay, then. That is very clever. So basically, while I'm like this, you can see the bridge. And it's still there, technically, but you just can't see it as the human. Right. Which is, that explains how I would have gone to that area. Uh, previously, on the last level. Oh my god, this game is so full of little secrets and little game mechanics. It's so good. I played some. What's this? Oh. Have. 16 out of 20, I tell you what, we're finding a lot of stuff now. Now that I figured out that kind of that, that mechanic that I can go across those bridges. We are flying. Hey, come here. Gotcha. Ooh. Seems like a, a vial as opposed to... Oh, is it big boy? Can I play it? Okay, we need to see if there is a bridge around here. I need to get to that box. So what it's... Right, so... I could just do this then, right? Nah, that's so... That's insane! <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Enki's cart. Hi, Enki. We're here looking for you. Oh, I caught the three o'clock ferry. You must have missed it. Well, we found the blueprints. Splendid work. Pass them here. I see. The rumors were true. This, my friends, is a blueprint of one of the alchemist's drugnauts. Do you say donuts? <laughs> drugnauts. Four monstrous creations of the alchemist, born entirely from his own twisted psyche. Each drugnaut guard is a special alchemi alchemical device hidden deep in their bellies. You seem to know an awful lot about the this alchemist guy. I do, indeed I do. I bear a degree of responsibility in these matters, I'm afraid. Let me explain. The alchemist was once my most gifted student until he began to play with forbidden knowledge. That's how it always begins. He was exiled by the high alchemists. I never heard from him again until one day when a huge tower grew in a nearby forest. And once again, oh, okay. And once again, he experimented with the very textures of life itself. 
That was a very weird voice crack. I do apologize. <laughs> People from nearby towns were lured to the tower by the tunes of his flute. And then I became something. Uh, the Drognauts are the alchemist's new creations. One of earth, one of fire, one of water, and one of air. If released, they will transmute the entire outer world. However, buried deep within their bellies, there is an alchemical device that gives life to each Drognaut. The Elm Elmvik Flask, the Hellfire Crucible, the Alluvial Filter, and the Rousing Retorts. Enki, how do we get out of the tower to the outer world? The Dross soldiers are trying to kill us all. Little Dross, the only way out of the tower is through the lab at the top. You'll need to help. You need all the help you can get to make us alive. How do I get my hands on this flute? I see. So you're a bounty hunter. It's his most prized possession. The drug noughts and the alchemist have a special relationship. The alchemist will severely weaken once we remove all four pieces. Weak enough for you to take the flute. Okay, we'll help you get these pieces. Looks like we have a deal. I'll be popping up in the tower. Oh, and enjoy my vending machines. Right. I don't remember too much. <laughs> but this sewer smells familiar. Or is that just you? Okay, so we essentially have four main bosses being the... Uh... Oh, I'm here. Am I the only one that thinks the old man is in his cart a little strange? What do you mean? Well, for one, the cart keeps jumping over the place. Take it easy, Tim man. You'll get your bearings eventually. I'm trying, but this place is still weird. Look who's talking. Come on, let's go. But like, so can I go like back in here? Oh, yoink. Starting a business is not easy when you can't find a, a taste to people's liking. So for a time, I left the coal sack and studied the ways of alchemy. If I go back out here, does it now? Yeah. It does. Nice. So there has to be a... Yeah. I, lo I love this. I actually love that there's kind of like hidden bridges within each world. Okay, so now I can just go in and go out and it changes. It's essentially like a quick travel within each world, which I'm all for. Okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about how long it takes me to do each level. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna breeze over them. The cesspool. Enki's vending machines are great to replenish low primer reserves. So essentially, it is kind of just a. Uh, a way of getting extra stuff. Like that. Get out of here. Another thing that I've actually kind of... It, it just kind of clicks, like when you're doing it, is that it, it makes sense to kind of have these other bridges around because it forces, not forces you, but like it kind of means that you kind of have to balls, um, have to kind of use both characters a bit more and it, it kind of makes you be like, okay, well, in order for me to find this part, I need to go and do X, Y, and Z thing. Or, you know, instead of just staying in one character the entire time. I want to be a painter. Go live your dream, kid. I don't know where I'm going at this point. I'm just kind of... Do I need to be over here? Yeah, I have to be, right? Because of this. Ooh. Okay, so I don't want to be there. Spin the pipes. Oh. Okay. 
Did I just... Ah, I did. So, I, I, yeah, I've essentially just kind of bypassed figuring out what I actually needed to do in the level. Because I needed to... <laughs> I needed to move the pipes to climb the ladder to come through. I've already kind of done that. So, what we'll do is we'll... Do I need to... Might just... Yeah, we'll just recall and kind of push forward and see what happens from there. Because for the time being, there's going to be a point now where... Like, now, isn't it? Yeah, so then can I just do this? Yeah. Okay, okay. We gaming. And then I can do that. Power through. Hell yeah. I, oh, this game is actually so good. Oh, we just... Oh, right. Okay, yep. Yeah, just... Oh. I need to be more aware of them. Anytime there's like an open pit... With, with, like, a hole underneath it. There's always going to be something there. Okay, I go back to full health. Definitely something underneath there. There's a bridge somewhere, though. There has to be, right? Because otherwise there wouldn't be stuff over there. Or here. Ahaha! <laughs> God, it's so I love that mechanic so much. It's actually so good. It's not even really a mechanic, but it's just, just so good. Chester. Step inside my church. It's raining love in here. I think that sewer's water's leaking in. <laughs> Can I get an oh yeah? Oh? <laughs> um, oh yeah? <laughs> not oh, an oh yeah. Let me do this. Oh yeah. That's the spirit. I'm feeling the love now. I'm Chester, and you've come on a special day. We're all celebrating the splitting of the spirit. We? There's no one in here besides us. Ah, that's what you think, but the spirit is all around us. On this day, the alchemist extracted his spirit and created dross. It's a day of spreading love. I'm recording it in my book. You should give it a read sometime. Now go and spread the word. Read the book too. I signed it for you. Oh, thanks. Person, Dross Law. Splitting of the spirit. The splitting of the spirit refers to the philosophical, the prophecy, pro, that word. I'm not even going to try it. I'm bad at English. Moment in which the alchemist is said to have created the dross. Once is said to celebrate the event of a bell bellowing a hearty oh yeah. All right then. Okay, so what's through here then? Or is this the... Yeah, it's the other part, yeah. So I come out there, and I go where? Oh. Another... Anthony! Oh no, it's a human! It's okay, we won't hurt you. It says who? We're making our way up to the tower. Peacefully. Don't hurt us. Humans have... Humans came... Come in here and take our homes and harm us. I'm a dross too. All I want is to leave the tower. After we get the flute. The only way is to rise. We are waiting for the next ceremony. We hope we get chosen soon because it's becoming quite shaky down here. We're using the gates. Why don't you go through and get out of here? If we get caught using them, we will be vaporized on the spot. For now, we have to work down here until we get chosen. Why don't you take these? Uh, we hear humans on the outside. Then you can leave us in peace, pretty please. Ooh. I will happily take those. You don't have to ask me twice. Right. So, we are... Ah, we have to go, we have to go climb across the top of the pipes. I believe. So... So now dodging whatever these things are. <gasps> ah! Oh, it's one of these mothers. Get out of here.
Okay. That one seemed a bit quicker and a bit easier. Oh, I missed it by one? There ain't no way. I reckon if I killed that other creature, I would have got it. 